everyone should be seeing my slides, both uh, online and offline, right? Uh, so, yeah, as uh, Francesca just said, I'm uh, part of the Planet Board of Directors, and uh, I, I'm kind of the person in the BUE who has been uh, um, following the activities around training and education, and this is why. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about uh, the way Clarence has tried to uh, promote the integration of its uh, resources and tools uh, in, into uh, higher education. So as uh, the video said, um, we are a network, a distributed network of, of, uh, of centers uh, spread around uh, various uh, member countries. First and foremost, the CLIR is a technological infrastructure. Uh, for the fair sharing of language resources uh, by repositories, uh, for finding uh, language resources wherever they are located, thanks to its meta catalog, and also building an interoperability framework to match uh, language resources and services that can sell. However, we also want to build a, an infrastructure for sharing, the sharing of knowledge, and uh, um, I'm not going to go into the details of all the aspects uh, of this, but uh, the backbone uh, of this uh, aspect of Clarin is, of course, its network of knowledge centers that provide expertise on various domains and types of resources. But uh, recently, we have tried to develop uh, the, uh, the integration of uh, language resources and Clarion tools into teaching, also thanks to the fact that we um, have now a training officer, which is uh, Juliana van der Leck. So, um, before, even before that, uh, one of the first uh, activities that Clarion carried out in collaboration with uh, another uh, infrastructure of the SSH domain uh, was the Digital Humanities Course Registry. This is a, a discovery platform uh, dedicated to uh, discovering uh, digital humanities programs throughout Europe and beyond. So you can register your uh, course or program here and students can use it to find interesting programs that they can um, enroll. More recently, as I said, we have been promoting this teaching with Clarin initiative. And to begin with, this was done um, by uh, instituting a, a Teaching with Clarin Award in 2021. This was also a little bit motivated by the fact that we noticed that during COVID, many uh, of uh, the uh, lecturers in our um, network uh, integrated uh, more and more or tools, uh, uh, clearing tools into uh, their lectures also to support them with moving online. Uh, and therefore we collected a series of uh, training materials uh, donated, so to say, by, by the, our network. And uh, we uh, created this first uh, catalog of resources of this type. And this, in a way, um, uh, also uh, forced us or prompted us to uh, reflect on uh, what it means to share in teaching materials as digital objects, thus developing a set of uh, metadata, uh, solving issues as to visibility, citability, assigning of persistent identifiers uh, to, to these objects, versioning, licensing and so forth. We, we are not uh, done yet with this work which is in progress and to be honest, other infrastructures and uh, the open, open science community uh, in Europe at large are, are asking these questions and more generally how to make training materials fair. And in fact, uh, uh, Juliana is participating in uh, many uh, task forces on this and there will be a publication uh, to, with recommendations for this. In parallel, also uh, by the participation of, Cl of Clarin to the, uh, to the shock project, uh, which uh, gathers together infrastructures in the SSH domain, there was the development of the SSH open marketplace, which is now um, uh, active, and the, this, this uh, other resource uh, gathering together the various types of resources in the SSH uh, domain has a specific focus also on training material, so definitely we will want uh, our uh, materials to be uh, visible there too. In 2022, uh, we moved forward, we kept uh, this training award, which is a uh, uh, kind of uh, recurring uh, now feature, uh, which is also linked to the Clarin conference, but we wanted to have a focus more on uh, the Clarin core services. Uh, 
the VLO, as we said, the switchboard, the federated content search, the deposit and citation functionalities, and Juliana will tell us more about this later on. And uh, thanks to the UpSkills project, uh, we developed uh, uh, training uh, materials ad, ad hoc for this. And we also started to pilot them in uh, workshops that we held this, this year. Uh, last uh, thing that I want to mention is that we are also looking into innovative types of uh, training materials. In particular, this year we uh, concentrated on, uh, on notebooks which are computational notebooks that provide a, a popular environment for teaching programming skills uh, in, in educational context. And uh, um, so, we call, first of all, we collected the notebooks that are already provided by many of our centers. And then there was also the development uh, uh, of uh, an ad hoc uh, uh, notebook and tutorial to show uh, how to process European text collections uh, uh, by using Jupyter Notebooks, uh, by Tuan and Michelle. So, just to conclude, um, what we want to do in the future, also in collaboration with uh, our trainers and uh, the Upskills project, is to develop uh, new training materials, and maybe also with uh, this in new internship pro program that we launched uh, to translate them in uh, our languages, continue with the Teach with Clarin um, award, uh, while also providing better description, descriptors uh, in collaboration with these other initiatives that, uh, that I mentioned, thus leading to increased visibility on the Clarin platform, but also on the shop market, marketplace and beyond. And finally, then uh, have more teaching with Clarin, uh, and we want to build up on our trainers network uh, with uh, an increased presence in summer schools and other training events. So I'm concluding now. Um, I will just uh, give a few um, suggestions on how to stay in touch with, uh, with Claren. First and foremost, if you're, uh, if you're in a Claren country, uh, Claren member country, you can get in touch with your national consortium, uh, finding out uh, who, whom to get in touch with on, on this link here. Then follow our event, both uh, online and offline. And uh, you can also see how Claren can support and uh, maybe fund uh, some uh, uh, initiatives uh, uh, around uh, teaching and also user involvement.